All right, hello everyone. It's Dave Lloyd from TheMeditatingMan.com and uh, I, you're here in my kitchen. And at first you might be thinking to yourself, you know, whoa, what does food have to do with meditation? Well, your brain runs on the things that you put in your body. And um, I am, I, I consider myself a Taoist. So throughout the different seasons, what I do is I combine different herbal medicines with different types of food uh, throughout the year to try and harmonize with the seasons. So it is winter, as you can see from the background here, and I'm in Canada, so it's really winter. And uh, we just had a real, uh, real uh, heavy cold spell. It was about around minus 25 uh, Celsius. And um, so here I am, I'm gonna show you my recipe for gochitsa beef, so goji, like goji berries, gochitsa beef. So um, now I cook this with, uh, with meat, uh, but you can use a meat substitute if you wish uh, while you're making the recipe. So, but it's winter and it's been very cold outside. So I am making this with beef because beef has a warming property to it and it helps me uh, kind of harmonize with the environment. So, what I've got here, and you'll see this in the photo as I bring it up on the screen, um, there's about an ounce, so 30 grams of gochitsa, uh, which is the goji berries. And um, there's around three quarters of a cup or so of um, salsa and about three quarters of a cup of bone broth and with that i mix in a little bit of collagen to help with my joints um, there's a, about a stalk of celery uh, a few cloves of garlic a small white onion and uh, around uh, you know a, a hand size worth of uh, worth of beef uh, what the what this particular mixture of foods and herbs does is warm your body so that you can resist the cold in the environment so you can stay healthy and stay strong. So I'm going to walk you through the process uh, that I turn this in from ingredients into a, a finished meal. Now what I do is I, I, I slow cook my meat. So you'll see me, I'll uh, sear it in a pan first with some butter and then uh, I, I mix all these ingredients and I slow cook them for a few hours um, before I eat them. Now this is for one person. I'm, I'm flying solo today, so um, hence I'm making the video. Uh, so yeah, so here we go. Okay, so I have heated up the butter and uh, what I'm gonna do is, first things first, I'm gonna put the onions in here. And I've never done a cooking uh, instructional before, so this is new for me. So um, you want to heat this up until the onions are flavorful. It takes about a minute or so. Now this isn't to uh, fully cook these things. It's it's just to get some of the flavor to come out. So I come now. I'm adding the beef. Okay. So your goal here isn't to fully cook the beef. It's just to, uh, to sear it and give it a little bit of flavor. Add a little bit more butter. I want to bring some of the flavor out in the meat and you do that by cooking it with these uh, different ingredients. Okay. Okay, so you really you just want to brown the, the different sides of the meat. And again, you if, 
If you're a vegetarian and you don't eat meat, then that's fine as well. You can use a, any meat substitute that you want. That is more than okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, first I'm gonna add the bone broth, okay? And I, I mixed in a bit of collagen in there as well. Um, and here's the, the salsa. All right, and here is the gochitsa, okay? And here is some, I'm gonna add next, I'm gonna add the beef and the onions, okay? And from there, I'm gonna add the celery. And I use a garlic press to get the best flavor out of my garlic. So I use that here. Right here. So press the garlic. is very 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 good for your health it's good for your circulation and it's good for your heart so it's good for your immune system as well so get that mixed in there and I'm gonna put uh, put my slow cooker pot on now and it'll be this is gonna cook for a few hours so uh, but everything should be nice and soft. Uh, the, the meat should be soft and the onions and the different vegetables, they should be cooked absolutely perfectly. Okay, you can't smell this obviously, but it smells incredible. This has been cooking for a couple of hours now. It looks nice and soft, beautiful. Can't wait to have this. Okay, so the food is just about ready in the slow cooker, so I decided I'd whip up a batch of cauliflower rice to put the, uh, to put the, uh, kojitsa beef on. So, just a really quick recipe. What I do, I've got the, the pan here, it's, it's heated up, so I'm just gonna put some butter on there, and some green onions. Some chopped green onions. Okay, and just stir it around. Again, you know, you want to cook these onions for about a minute, 30 seconds. You can really start to, depending on what your heat is, you can really start to smell the aroma of what you're looking for. When it starts to smell good, that means that you're ready to move on to the next step. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so what I've done as well, I've put together a mix of sesame oil, uh, chili pepper, or chili sauce, and soy sauce, and I've already grated my cauliflower, so here we go. Okay, this is just to give it a little bit more flavor for when I put the beef on it. So in some of the ancient Taoist textbooks, there's a, a, a really wonderful book called The Immortal Sisters. And in the Immortal Sisters, 
They say that one of the keys to longevity is to abstain from grains. So I've been uh, I've been grain free for probably about eight years at this point, uh, and so this is my substitute for rice. I make it with cauliflower. Lots of people who follow uh, the paleo diet do the same thing. So it, it tastes great. It's a really great substitute and uh, it's a really great thing to add some of the other dishes that you would normally make to add to rice. It works perfect. So everything's ready to rock and roll at this point and I'm just going to serve the gochitsa beef over top of the cauliflower rice and look at that beautiful amazing 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 So the majority of what, of what you're seeing is nourishing food. There's a little bit of extra water in there, but for the most part, this is uh, pure nourishment, which is beautiful in a world of fast, convenient type foods. Uh, this is a real genuine, uh, it's a real genuine treat in the modern world. So. There you go, that's gochitsa beef. It's very effective for, uh, it's very effective for warming your body and uh, I'm about to chow down. Okay, so this, uh, I'm about to enjoy the, the benefits of all of my labors here. This is absolutely amazing. It really is. So good. So good and so nourishing. Um, <laughs> I'm jogging with my mouth full. Um, so, from me to you, um, David Lloyd from TheMeditatingMan.com. I hope this video finds you having a wonderful day. And I'm about to chow down. So, <laughs> have a great day and feel free to try this recipe out. It's well worth the time. It's the best way that you can spend your time is making good quality food. Have a great day. Thank you very much.